Hey guys, it's Dylan Lane, and today I'm going to be teaching you all about the difference between a chorus and a hook. If you haven't already subscribed, make sure you do so. I post lots of songwriting tutorials, cover songs, original songs, and music tutorials. Before we get started, I've made you a cheat sheet to go along with this video. It will have all of the information that I'm about to teach you written out so you can download it and print it out and have it right in front of you. I'll post a link to that in the description box down below. One of the most common questions I get asked by aspiring singer-songwriters is, what is the difference between a chorus and a hook? The short answer is that a chorus is a repeated section throughout a song, typically coming after each verse. A hook, on the other hand, is a repeated musical idea, phrase, or riff repeated throughout the entire song. Now let's dive in and take a deeper look at both. If you're familiar with song form, you'll know that a common song form is verse 1, chorus, verse 2, chorus, bridge, chorus. Notice that song form does not include the section hook but rather section, verse, chorus, and bridge. That's because hook is not a song section within a song form. Rather, a hook is a phrase within a song section that is very memorable and catchy. On the other hand, a chorus is a song section often containing a hook within itself. For example, I want you to think of one of your favorite choruses within one of your favorite songs. There's a good chance that that chorus is about eight lines long, and that two out of eight of those lines are more catchy than the other six lines of that chorus. Those two lines are your hook. It's important to note that hooks are not always found in a chorus. It's possible that a hook can be heard within the instrumental sections of the song, such as the intro, the outro, or an interlude in between. Take a listen to the beginning of some of your favorite songs. You may notice that the singer hums or whistles something, or maybe one of the instrumentalists plays a little solo on the guitar or piano. Now, if that is the case, listen and see if that little part that's in the intro or outro is repeated in other parts of the song. If so, that too could be considered a hook. This brings me to my next point, which is, it's possible for a song to have multiple hooks. So maybe there's a hook within the chorus and a hook within the intro, outro, and interlude, and that works. In fact, it makes the song all that much more catchy. Just to clarify, while there can be multiple hooks within a song, there's typically only one chorus within a song, although that chorus is repeated throughout the song. If you ever find that a song is stuck in your head, there's a good chance that the part of the song that's stuck in your head is the chorus, and there's an even better chance that the part of the chorus in the song that's stuck in your head is the hook. I hope this gives you a better understanding of the difference between a hook and a chorus, and if it doesn't, if you're still confused, tell me down below and I'll try to explain further. If you have any tutorial requests, let me know in the comments down below, and if you enjoyed this video, if you found it helpful, give it a thumbs up so that I know. Again, I'll post a link to the cheat sheet in the description box down below, and until next time, goodbye.